This is Geometry B, Unit 7, Lesson 4. We're still in the same lesson. We're now addressing what happens when a tangent and a secant meet outside a circle. And this is really just a special case of the secants meeting outside a circle. And that's the way we'll explain it here. I won't be using GeoGebra again. But here we go. We've got a circle and we've got a secant. So we've got a line that touches one point on a circle and, and two points on a circle, but it meets with a tangent line outside the circle. Okay, right there. And really what's, what goes on here is this. Remember how this, the, the, the rules for two secants are the outside part times the whole is constant, and the angle is, that's formed is the difference of the intercepted arcs and divided by two. Okay? That rule still applies even here. It's just that the outside part and the whole part are the same thing. The outside part and the whole part on the other one are not. So let's, let's do an example here. Let's say this length is 12, and this length is 11, and this length is 7. Okay, actually, I, I, need, to, I need an unknown. Let's say this length is x. Okay? So here's how the formula for distance works. The outside part, the 11, times the whole part, 11, equals the outside part, the x, times the whole part, x plus 12. Okay, so let me reiterate that. It's the outside part times the whole, which are the same thing in this case, equals the outside part times the whole. Okay, and we can solve this by distributing 11 times 11 is 121, x times x is x squared plus 12x, Subtract 121, x squared plus 12, x minus 121 equals zero. That's a quadratic equation. Don't know that we're gonna find the uh, product of factors of 121 whose difference is 12, but we can use the quadratic equation. So A is one, B is 12, C is negative 121, Quadratic formula says b, negative b, plus or minus square root b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. Whoops, messed up. Try again. Negative b plus or minus square root b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. And I get about 6.5. 6.5. Now, for the minus version here, because it's plus or minus, I just put in minus, but I get out a negative answer, so that won't make sense in the context of this problem. So 6.5 is our answer. Okay, so that's how to deal with the, with the distances. Outside part times the whole, it's just that the outside part and the whole are the same thing. Okay, now let's deal with the angles. All right, so I'm saving time here by we have an arc that is defined as the outside arc, okay, which over here I'm going to say is uh, 110 degrees, okay? And then we've got this other arc over here, and I'm gonna highlight this in green, other intercepted arc right here, which I'm gonna say is 80 degrees, 80 degrees. Okay, and we want to find we want to find this angle right here. We'll label y. Well, the same rule applies that applied before. So if I want to find y, I subtract the intercepted arcs 110 minus 80 and divide by 2. 110 minus 80 is 30 divided by 2 is 15 degrees. Okay, so that's really it. You might say, well, what about uh, two tangents? And really, the rule is the rule is still the same. Let's uh, let's take a look at that case. 
where, where we're talking about two tangents. So here we go. We've got a circle. Try drawing that again here. Circle and two tangents. So we're going to draw a tangent and another tangent that meet outside a circle. By the way, there are other ways we could solve this as well, but because two tangents intersect at radiuses, and radiuses form 90 degree angles, and we can form a quadrilateral, and the angles of a quadrilateral add to 180. But let's say, let's say we have two intercepted arcs. Okay, we've got this intercepted arc right here. And let's say that, that is 160 degrees, 160 degrees, okay? We can automatically find the outside intercepted arc because the full circle's arc is 360. So 360 less 160 means the outside arc is uh, 200 degrees, okay? And if I want to find this, I do the same thing. X is 200 minus 160 divided by 2. 200 minus 160 is 40. 40 divided by 2 is 20 degrees. Okay. All right. So that's, that's kind of the idea. Two tangents, same thing. And the length I model doesn't make sense with two tangents. Outside times whole equals outside times whole is going to be true because we happen to know from a previous lesson that tangents, tangents drawn, two tangents drawn from the same outside point are congruent to each other anyway. <laughs> so if this is, say, 8 inches, then this is 8 inches. All right, hopefully that helps.